I'm going to size of the scene. I think everything is safe. And I'm going to make sure that I have my body substance isolation measures in place. I come up to the patient. Sir, uh, I'm an EMT and someone called 911. Uh, can you tell me about this patient? Uh, he just done fell out. He done fell <laughs> out. <laughs> all right, all right. Sir, sir, are you awake? Are you alert? All right. Shake and shout. Shake and shout. I have no signs of responsiveness, and I'm seeing no signs of breathing in this patient as well. Is that what I'm seeing? Correct. All right, this is an apneic patient. I'm going to check the carotid pulse for no more than 10 seconds. Do I feel a pulse? No pulse. All right, in that case, I'm going to make sure the chest is exposed to find my landmarks and begin my chest compression. The guy that sent me to go get an AED. And I want you to go get me an AED. Cycles <laughs> of CPR. That was this what you want me to go get? Yes, thank you very much. Um, what you can do is, uh, I'll tell you what, are you able to do yeah, CPR I can do that. compressions? Yeah, I can All do right. that. On the next cycle, why don't you come around this side, maybe? 28, 29, 30. Let me give two breaths and then I'm going to have you do that. All right, well, I prepare this device. I'm glad that you are able to do CPR. I don't know why you didn't do CPR before. Okay. I'd be so confused. I will. If I came back to life for that, I'd be so confused. Once you go through, oh, so you do, if someone else is done it, you just blow into their mouth. Or you get a straw. Alright, so I'm going to ask you to step back for a moment. Do not touch the patient. Away and... It's not even on the patient. Yeah, it's not even on the patient. Do not touch 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 the patient. Sir, please direct uh, oh, some impressions into that chest. Begin CPR. Oh, that's very good. Right.